remember if at any point in this video you're stalked especially with the use of these templates and the getting of it you can always 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 refer back to this to the github repository for this project now you can see that we have a major difference here and that's the logo most times in websites the logos are actually images and everywhere would have an image you can see that the image do not display right every single place we have an image so in this version of the template you can see the image all appearing but in our own version everywhere we have an image it's not appearing and the reason for that is quite simple because we've not yet put the correct parts in the link so since we copied the the css and bootstrap an images folder so a static folder we have to put the correct path just as we've done previously with the css links we have to do the same for our images if we don't do the same we would have a situation where the images would not display themselves so maybe we can try using the img tag instead so if we try the img we see we have 152 <laughs> We have 152 results so let's look at them you can see them here in each of these speakers speaker two speaker one so immediately we finish um, compiling one we just go to the next and the next i hope this theme is not too bold or too bright for you you can change your themes here by coming to settings look at theme click on color theme and then you can choose whatever i can choose like this javascript modern and it will give me something like this which is a much more faint version of the dark and let's use this one for for some time now so let's use the src so let's keep looking for for the images and everywhere we have these images src we are going to just um, walk on the path together. Let's keep doing this. Okay, let's just keep doing this. All right, so you want to go ahead and update all your own too. Everywhere your own appears, update them. The focus is not on the image, but just to make sure that you have a firm grasp so of how HTML works so that in case you want to edit anything tomorrow, you want to customize this thing to, to you want to personalize this project, turn it to completely yours, change everything, you don't have to struggle with all of this. So looking at what we have now, we've I've gone ahead to successfully update everywhere we have a, a SRC or everywhere we have a path to an image. Typically, our href and then our src are the places where we have paths to our images. Now, what's the significance of that? It just helps our website to look much more fanciful and colorful. So here, if we look around, you can see we have all of this fine, very colorful design. We can see the events. We can see images. Everywhere is absolutely colorful. We can see gallery. We can see everything here. It's just it's just wonderful so that's exactly the the beauty of doing it this way okay now there are some changes we'll be making to the html here and we're going to make them real quick for example i want here to not be buy tickets but to be get tickets free so we'll be giving our tickets free just as you're watching this video right now um we'll would be giving our tickets free so And here can be about the events. When we click on it, it scrolls down. All right, we'll not be making any change to that. So to make a change to this place here, we'll would be giving our ticket free. What can we do? We can come to the nav, right? So this, recall when I was talking about different sections of the web, this is the nav section. What's the work of a nav section? It's, it's a navigation bar, it's a navigation. So if we if your your mobile phone, this is how this this website will look like to you. This is how this website will look like currently. 
and here this is the nav so you say hey when i click on the nav i see this and that so this is exactly the nav now this nav was designed using bootstrap by calling some of bootstrap classes like calls and the rest of them and so we want this buy ticket right to to not be buy tickets but should be like get free tickets or something like that so we, we're going to come back here and the the would we'll go to the nav now now i started from the beginning because when you look at this code here you can see that that's among the first things so if it's among the middle things like the nav section was located somewhere around here like the hotels and you want to come down to it you you can most likely imagine that the code will be later down but since this one is up the nav is up that's why we're starting eventually from the start and here we can have the nav section and here instead of buy tickets so i'll be changing um get your tickets okay so i'll just turn you to get your ticket um so as to imply that you don't need to buy the ticket right and so even if we change it to to um, the mobile section even if we change it to the mobile section um, click on this link it says get your ticket so users can get their ticket as opposed to buying their ticket all right that's one real change um, quick change i want to make and this is 10 to 12 december downtown conference center in new york maybe we could leave everything like this or should i change it to lagos or maybe abuja well you could go ahead and change that we could add a video here right we could add a video here right now not in place so i'm just going to add a video just to give you a general feel of how this works and where would i get the video from of course from the revicity youtube channel so i'm going to add a video from the revicity youtube channel and maybe i should add a promo video so a video that talks about or oh, what we Vice does. so now i have the video link copied and then uh, i'm just going to come here so where would we go to actually make changes to that it's going to be after the nav section um so it's going to be in the intro section so section with an id of intro now this id serves two purposes one is to style the page and the second one is to do some javascripting inside but for now we'll just change this youtube link this href so wherever you see href is a direct link wherever you see src that's like a source or a path or you could still call it a link of the page it's a direct link to this youtube video i'm, I'm sure you get that now in html so we can come here and refresh our page and by the time this page is done refreshing when we click on the youtube again we should have a video that will now be playable that video should lead us to be with ict's website so let's go and check it out and it's loading here we can just wait a minute you can see b revicity already showing and you can have all of this all right so if you're here just kindly subscribe to b revicity channel and if you want to build any kind of website at all you can hit us straight away will build any kind of website for you all right that's it about the little changes i want to make so when we click here about the events you can see all of these speakers venue hotels gallery sponsors and contacts now these are sponsors if you want to sponsor me in this video you could send a message and say hi thank you Thank you so much for, for doing this video. That in itself is a sponsorship. So if you're so far impressed with how the video has gone and you've learned a thing or two, just comment down in the video below. It should really go a long way. You could also say anything 
make any form of contributions to me and to BW City for giving you contents like this. The link is down below so you could buy me a coffee. And really, I really, really appreciate that. All right, talking about get your tickets now, that's the next thing we want to do to be able to get tickets. So here that is buy ticket. I'm just going to remove this page now because I do not want to sell any tickets for 150 or 250 or 350 dollars now. But of course, you could give me gifts of 150, 250, and 350 dollars. We are going to remove this buy ticket page. We're going to remove this buy tickets right now. And to do that, we are going to look at the section where they are. But this, this, this HTML template is long. So where exactly do we know where this is? Maybe we can hit Control F here and click on Buy Ticket. So you can see the Buy Ticket section, right? So I just decided to copy, just search for this link that's here on our HTML. And then we navigate to the buy ticket section. So when you have long, a long list, this is how you can just go about it and make your, when you have a long code base, you could search. And that's exactly why I love VS Code. You could search for what you're looking for and make your journey easy. So this section of buy tickets, I'm going to just remove it. And to remove it, we can comment it out and then it should also be removed, right? We can just comment it out and it would also be removed. So here, we can, we can comment it out. And I'm just going to remove all of this, all of this. and all of this so you can leave yours though or you could join me and remove them because i don't want the ticket to be paid for i want to just give a free ticket all right so this part of the what we've just done now is known as the front end of the website you can see all of these this fancy buttons i'll do everything with the use of a template that already has Bootstrap integrated in them. Now let's just go ahead and show you some of the small things that Bootstrap is very used to. For example, you are going to see places like this call, col-lg-3, col-md, iPhone 4, and you're asking yourself, what exactly is this? This call stands for colon, AGO stands for large, and um, it has three. So what exactly do these figures mean? Well, that's how Bootstrap represents and gives things like padding, margins, columns, rows, stylings to any website. You could find more about how Bootstrap does that. If you come to here to Bootstrap, just go on Google and search for Bootstrap and get bootstrap.com. Yeah, just skips my my memory for for a second there. Get bootstrap.com. Just come to Bootstrap, search for it, and you go to get bootstrap.com. Now, for example, if you were looking at how to how to give space, you can just search for space. And when you search for space, even without hitting space, you can see space in here, margin and padding. Right. And then if you click on it, if you click on any of the uh, like the margin or padding, you can see different representation. For example, SM, MD, LG, XL, XSL. You can see what M means, margin. You can see what P means, padding. And you can see all of these basically. Now, that's how we use Bootstrap. So you don't have to cram everything that Bootstrap has to offer. No, you just have to go step by step. Okay, now is there anything we want to do with our front end again? Now we have this fine place about the events, all of these. If somebody hits get your tickets, it doesn't take the user anywhere, right? When he clicks about the events, you see all of these and all of that. 
But for now, I want to change this about the event to us to a button that says get your tickets, just like that first one. So that once the user comes, the user does not need to struggle at all to get his tickets, whether on a mobile device or on a system. It would be very, very clear. So I'm just going to come here and say get your tickets. So I've changed the button now to get your tickets. And then when you click on it, it's easily going to take the user to a get your tickets page. Now we've not created this get your tickets page and we have no idea the source. It's just a static page for now. Just a fine front end design, a static page, but we need to do more. We have to create a, a section where the users can now go and start getting their tickets. And of course, we also need an admin section where admins can go and basically perform various rules. So let's go ahead and implement the next section or the next part of these full stack events registration websites.